Be a quick live look outside. The Selman moving pretty smoothly right now near Bradentown Center. Traffic, as you can see, Bradentown Center, excuse me, looking pretty, uh, pretty light right now down there. Now, a recent study focusing on the Selman's traffic projects found that between 2013 and 2017, this area that you see here in red, the Hyde Park area, had the most deadly crashes. And all those blue dots, those were all serious crashes. Uh, to try and make the Selman safer, the Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority is testing out some new technology. Armalink Rankin explains what this new technology is all about and how it'll help. Thea will be testing connected vehicle technology here on the Selman Expressway. Cars will have devices installed that let them communicate with other vehicles and infrastructure to improve driver safety. Participants have already signed up and gotten devices installed in their cars. This is a collaboration with the US DOT, Honda, Hyundai, and Toyota. Safety exceeds all and that they're collaborating and working, put, working together to make the road safer, not competing against each other to sell cars. This technology doesn't require the driver to do anything extra and is already being used across the globe. We're able to take the safety information that that, that vehicle is seeing and pass it down the line. And it could be used for um, traffic signals, pedestrian signals, public transportation. And the goal is to eventually have the devices built into new vehicles. It will be the same as we see with anti-lock brakes or with, um, you know, Sirius XM, you know, radio that's built in. The pilot project will last 18 months and participating is free. Drivers will receive a 30% toll rebate on Selman Expressway travel. Now, to be, be eligible to participate, you have to be 18 or older, have a Florida driver's license, and own either a Honda, Hyundai, Kia, or Toyota. And, of course, you have to drive regularly on the Selman Expressway.